live on Spike. 12 rounds for the Super Lightweight Championship. The red corner first. He wears the gold. 39 wins, six losses with one draw, 11 victories by way of knockout. Ashley Treasure Theofan. Fighting out of the blue corner. He wears the silver and purple. 31 professional victories, 23. Coming by way of knockout, Adrian, the problem, Brogan. Unrobed, hair brushed, as is his custom, entering the ring and leaving the ring, as a matter of fact. I give you instruction in the dressing room. They're having a clean match, okay? Good luck, God bless you. The man on the right, a four-time world champion. Everything has gone against Adrian Brown. Ladies and gentlemen, buckle up. Books. There's going to be a fight. Still a super lightweight title fight because Ashley Theophane in the gold Broner cannot win the belt. Stripped of the belt after coming in 0.4 pounds Ohio last week, to which he will answer next week. And Adrian Broner focus on what's in front of him in the ring as he's distracted by his outside players. Excellent boxer, nice power. It's a matter of, is he meant to the point where he can't get No, 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 no holding, no holding. He's 26 years old. He's held four different belts and four winning men ever have been able to accomplish that. Some were bad losses and some boxing experts will not put him in four titles. <laughs> Searching oh, for the right, he's speechless, he's completely speechless. <laughs> Carlos Molina. To put you on top of the category that is filled with big names, it's filled with, yes. and they were big, physical, mauling kind of fighters. Fight. At some point, it's really a little underdog. I mean, that's, that's crazy. We see some color under the left eye of Ashley Theofet. <laughs> Off and running. Oh, watch your head. Bell brings the two combatants, class builder of fights through the media. Out Billions team now. Brown is uh, to all of his uh, opponents. You predicted several times this fight wouldn't go three rounds. To one in favor of Adrian Broner. In some, some places you can get this seven to one, ten to one now. Just be able to cash in watch your head, watch on your his head. opportunity. Okay, I'm need more distractions than Adrian Broner has tonight. Talented, very physical, but outside the ring, so many distractions. These distractions and thinking to show his metal, to show laser tunnel vision. And he fate bent over momentarily. Great body shot. For enough to no, cut no, no, that body, no, 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 no. a slip there. Maybe some compensation on the first one you're going to see. The conditioning and that weight loss really affect a guy. Yeah. It's obvious. I mean, but sometimes mentally, a kill's here. Definitely a mouse under the eye of I'm the elbows right tight. <laughs> Bows in your chin, it can look pretty awkward. As the final Should body shots, take a look, ladies and gentlemen. The investments in the early rounds. Scouts in our first two fights, the main event. Now it works its way, actually, the thing. I don't like the way Ashley is punching and all that. He's in a fight, he got a fight. Faints too, he's buying everything. He's got more effective with his punches. Now the brother turtles up for a moment after shaking his head and then ducks back and says, now you have done more no effective punching by Theo Faye. There's gonna come a time that this fight goes wrong. That that big loss is gonna catch. Those of you who have been following the Chronicles online of Adrian Broner and Missy Commission tells you you're 0.4 pounds over. You have two hours to try and cut. Broner turned from the scale and took a jug, a, a chug of Ben Dehydrate. Watch your head, watch your head. And the thing about that is, Gregory did not have seen it. Oh, and a nice shot with the right hand. He's got something here. He throws a flurry to try and get him out and it's remaining in the round. Nobody throw, nobody throw, nobody throw. Within three rounds. Defense so far hasn't shot straight. Man, right? Broner's landing with authority. Well, the people have to be a 20 to 1. I mean, it's a good fight, but he would have to do something. Another right hand and another. With a oh, right hand. Final 10 seconds of round number three. Looking like the champ he has been in fights packed. 
by the former four division champion, led by the right hand. In Broner. Broner's power coming into this fight. He's spending a lot of energy. Like I said, if this fight, if this fight goes 6-7, then you're going to see what kind of punch shape is deal faking. Yeah. He keep punches like this, he might not be able to see. He's talking about the field on Sunday at 1 o'clock is the sanctuary. Fast by your estimation. You know, he has a lot to fight for. You know, Mr. Goods. I mean, he really wants to be the next. Like I said, I'm impressed with what I see tonight. The days is all of these distractions started, what, eight days ago? They didn't have for this fight. I'm not worried about a fight that has something go wrong you know, a month into camp. Preparation's already done when all this stuff happens, so he's at least physically prepared to get in there. You know, yeah, yeah, got a little prepared for that. Prepared. <laughs> he uh, out a photo of a couple of his children. I'll be up. I'll be up. I'll be up. Four rounds go, on Ashley Theophane's fake. The Whoop. super lightweight title with a victory here tonight. Corner to Theophane, he tore him back in the and put the this evening. And another thing he said that is so key, move a little tense, he's been all tight. You can talk about the overreacting defensively. That's key. You talk about a title on the line for the fighter from the hit Broner. Uh, somewhat of a boxing rarity through his there are 11 belt holders from the UK, 10 current titleists from the United States of America. Like rare with your, that lead, if you will, for the Brits and those from the UK. Then to put the UK over the top, it was 11 to 11 as of yet. Game 11 10. Okay, nobody throw. I'm here. I'm here. See, Theo Fane has never been losses in his professional career, but he's never been knocked out. Put that type of an exclamation point on all of the doubters that are watching. Losses in the welterweight division, 147 pounds, bigger guys. Donna kind of got in there, kind of bullied him. Didn't make it a boxing match, kind of roughed him up on the inside, but unable to do that. It's been a boxing match, and you're the better boxer. Come on. Good point, champ. Good point, champ. Well done. Well, here's an actual statistic. Under 100. So you put this one in the over 140 category. Yes, yes. Perch, I'm surprised he didn't shave no, his no, two no. hours to lose 0.4 pounds when he, he had already cut weight, you would assume, to try and get down as close to one in, in wrestling and MMA, but only he knows how hard it was to cut. Here in the DC Armory, which is enough to make all of the folk side of the venerable old building built in World War II. Antonio Carver is sweating. Right right now, okay? Okay? Let's go, quit playing this motherfucker, okay? <laughs> right. Let's go, baby. All right? Come on, right now. With the comics for over. I've, I've seen guys lose 10 pounds in a day, 15, 15 pounds in a day. It's... We were they talking about it yesterday when we were discussing weight limits and whatnot, Mike, in the heat of July and August. Of course, that's all water weight. Boxing weights are a completely different. <laughs> <Starting weight. laughs> yes, the percentage of yeah. weight loss, greatly different. Like the work rate kind of went down a little bit in that round for Broner. He had like he's just going back to work. <laughs> right hand, second was more of a slap. Everything everybody else feels. Getting punched doesn't feel any different with your face show. Maybe more. I scold the whole time. Ash is having some moments right now. I mean, he's in. And this is a sustained, a sustained attack by the road work that he did to turn it on the conditioning and the whip. And this is round six. Make it to six or seven. The weight cut might start hurting. That could be what we're seeing. The same thing. But again, the most talented. He's had the posture of a middle throughout all five plus rounds. Well, I got Ashley winning this round. It, but how so? And, and he looks confident, but Adrian Broner, I don't think of his issues. I think he has plenty of self confidence no matter what he's doing.
East, 11 o'clock, live here on Spike Sports in Washington, D.C. In the challenger, Ashley I Theofane, I the I recently I was a champion in that last he round, but showing the wear and tear on his he face. Speakers here, Steve oh, Farhood, what's your unofficial yeah. score so far? Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's no yeah. doubt Broner is going to be a fan out of Broner in those rounds, but in each of those rounds, Broner off the round most of the time. Book. It looked like they was uh, nursing a little cut over there. Piggybacking off Steve Farhood there. That's what Thea Fain about sparring sessions, throwing on upwards of a thousand punches. Effective aggression. That can be aggressive and not landing a f uh. Good body shot. Nice left hand. That's what Ashley needs to ride out of. We're midway through. That's something you want to put money in the bank early. You know what? Would you have done it early? Like your head. Like on a lot of moving right now. So he's giving Adam opportunities. He scored 23 knockouts in his career. Just so fourth round. Diofane early but wasn't able to finish him. This becomes more more. Having one, again, sustained attacks where A.B. is catching. I don't know if he's taking his round off again or what, but uh, just something to watch. And the lack of counter punching by Burns is not giving Theo Fink. But his push hurt on this round. He's definitely hitting his neck. I don't know how bad that cut is, but. Uh, okay, nobody throw, nobody right throw. Side. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> We'll go back into us, Antonio. That's the best look we've had at it. Well, they get in the way right now, but there, and they go to it just over the eyebrow there. It's under the eye as well. Yeah, cuts on the right side of Adrian Broner's face. They don't look bad in the oh, hey. The guy who brushes his hair at the end of the fight, though, has to worry let's about go, the overall go. look. This is what we live for. We are commercial here live in Washington, D.C. Eighth round begins. Okay. The ball uh, breaks the up. Nobody throw. I am here. I heard it. The offense nickname you see on the front of his belt. Trey Mother's maiden name. So honoring his father. The difference now in the fight. Both guys punch. Winning single punches. Bonus for really a really long fight. Has he done that in the last few rounds? Good shot. That's what's left Diofin, I think, back in this fight with his activity. Diofin. Crowd getting a little restless. And I was a little surprised when Broner entered the ring. What he refers to as his, his second hometown of Washington, D.C. Training camp here in Washington, D.C. Choosing to fight at the D.C. Armory. Even if they are Broder fans, they still want to see action. Right, and, and, and Broder takes them. I don't know who's judging the fight tonight, but I know uh, the fat of the gun fight, one judge had a two-man fight. Yeah. You know, I, I was kind of... Didn't make care, but we all looked at each other like, yeah, I thought that was a, a wipeout. Expected. And we're still here in round eight. Three rounds, he ended up giving him points, even though okay, the other guy might throw, have landed more effective punch. Second half of the fight. The pace. They'll have 60 seconds to catch their breath. Very much look forward to all of those. Uh, Spike Sports is your... Megastar. Megastars know how to entertain a crowd and are here. It's a double fighting a guy that the odds makers had you as big as a 30 to 1 fit. fight. Pass round six. Oh, with a nice right hand there. The offense wobble momentarily. This brother sets the same thing. He closes in the corner. Coming wildly, trying to look for the kill shot. Can't land it just yet. The offense able to pop out of the way. Get the finish. Oh, good right hand. Nobody throw, the nobody fate. throw. Oh, no, boy. Theo Fane on wobbly legs. 
Referee had Mayweather crowd reactive over there on that side. Looked like he tried to get out of the seats. His former friend, no, he's still not his current friend, but Anderson at the end of the fight. Well, just <laughs> well, it was going to win, but it didn't look like it was. No blow involved here. Theofane was already in deep water, and that one right there landed below the belt. Right to the cup. Because Theofane never went down. And at that point, Theofane was in a lot stoppage, bad stoppage, fellas. I would have let a guy go down at this point. You know what I mean? A lot of shots, but this is a big fight. Now, that's what it is. I hear the turn to the ref to set the case. Could've How unfortunate. Could have been a The ref thought he was saying, I'm out. And he clearly wasn't, but very well could be. Yes. Serious punches yes. and was on wobbly legs. He turns to you and he waves his hand. Shielded, I believe, from the low blow. But he saw that one cleanly. And Pabone had felt like the mind frame to, uh, to not continue the fight. And also, protect yourself at all times. You turn to the referee, low blow, right here, bang. And right hand cleanly following it. And he looks over and Pabone... That right there, Theofane referee's attention for what we believe that was the cause, the low blow. I felt live like it was a quick stoppage without a knockdown. And I think that first ending, let's not take away from the fact that Broner was all, can't take that away from, from Adrian Broner. The crowd. Inside the ring, the end comes officially. One minute, 10 seconds. Of Broner. Where Adrian Broner has just worked his career record to with about billions until he gets his accoutrement uh, <laughs> for his interview with Jimmy Smith. Jimmy. First of all, I want to thank God. I got to thank God that he... Um, everybody... I, hold on, hold on. Um, I want to thank all the people that was watching in Cincinnati. You know, I, I always could do better, but I did what I had to do to get... I, um... I definitely gave y'all what I promised. And for me to come in here and to bottle everything up and to come in here. But y'all probably know about this. Somebody that I... Now, now I don't know how y'all look at that. That learn shit from physical activity. So, me and see me. Point blank, period. And... Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, y'all. Now, I'm a man at the end of the day. I'm a man at the end, from the bottom, from nothing. I'm talking about watering cornflakes. I don't care if we spar or we fight. Let's get it on. You heard the check. Wow. He just called out. Floyd is sitting ringside, clapping and smiling. AT is a possibility. It is a possibility. Big fight. I mean, you got AD, you got Floyd Mayweather. Finish a night of fights. Three fights, three-night world champ against one of the greatest of all time.